Oh, and speaking of the post-millennial, uh, a writer for some shithole. Let me actually find out. I sent an email to the to his to him. <laughs> I said this is this is. Uh, I can't believe that your your journalist is doing this horrible thing. I've written so many emails here in a second. Where is this? I want to say it was like the Dallas something. Oh, the Texas Observer. The Texas Observer. Uh, Stephen Monticelli, a journalist for the Texas Observer, uh, tweeted out, zeded, about me moving my domain and immediately started attacking the new registrar to try and intimidate them, which may or may not have worked. Uh, and then I realized, uh, according according to people who had been re-zeding me, that he's actually pretty well known for being a really gross guy. Um, here he is holding a gun uh, and of course as a as a liberal progressive he's very pro-gun he got sued by the dallas weekly for defamation um here's him dressed as a, a cuban dictator for or the, who's that guy che Guevara. and then he also put out a really awesome message where um Monticelli's tweets have been included in an apparent death threat. In February 2020, he tweeted out a photo of a pistol and ammunition and wrote, got a new microphone ready to interview some superdelegates, uh, implying that he was going to shoot them, I guess. He later deleted the tweet. I wonder why. I wonder if the United States uh, Secret Service showed up at his fucking house and interrogated him. Terrell, Taylor's wife, Amy Gibson, says Monticelli's unprofessionalism is reflected in his real-life interactions as well. Gibson says that she met him by coincidence at a social gathering. Uh, at a bar and grill in Dallas, she says he told his girlfriend was on pain. She says he told her his girlfriend was on painkillers at home because of a burst ovarian cyst. Unprompted, Gibson says Monticelli bragged to her that he caused her girlfriend's cyst to burst during sex because his penis is so large. So if you know anything about an anatomy chat, you know that the ovaries are nowhere near the vagina and that that is not physically possible. Um, that, but that is a life-threatening and extremely debilitatingly painful thing to endure. Uh, but he finds it really, really funny uh, because he's a fucking psychopath. And this is who the journalists of our, of our country are, this fucking lunatic. And this is, I think I realize why journalists are so absolutely disgusting. And... It goes like this. Um, some people will give some credence to what I say, right? Some people think, oh, Josh goes through a lot of stuff related to the internet. And so when he talks about how Cogent is an abuser and should be completely and totally disavowed by every co company on earth, how Path is affiliated with a pedophile, an open pedophile, um, and is also pro deplatforming, so no company should do business with them. You think, oh, Josh probably knows what he's talking about because he deals with a lot of shit like this. And so when I say something, people, hopefully, I would hope, would listen to what I have to say, right? A journalist wants that same kind of influence without any kind of life experience. So you effectively have like a college-educated liberal arts major who has endured zero hardship, has zero real-life experience, but does have a platform and tries to exert control and influence with this undue pompous entitlement that is not earned, but yet he really, really, truly believes he has a say in matters. That's why, that's why these journalists are so fucking awful because they, they somehow, they, they enter into this field seeking power and influence without any kind of labor backing it besides writing articles and harassing people uh, for stories and shit. That's it. And that's what's wrong with them. This guy is like a man-child. He'll, he's a man-child. It's, it's sort of like a gorilla. You know how a gorilla is like not intelligent, right? They, they are big, dangerous animals that will fucking tear people in half like a phone book during a fit of rage because they don't have emotional processing or prefrontal cortex and they don't know how to think. 
And a journalist is kind of like that. It's like a man child who is given a platform to write poison and harass companies. And we just tolerate it because it's under the guise of being media. And, uh, it's a, it's like an un, unhinged danger that people should never have elevated to any position to begin with. Such is life. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.